Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxana's Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Legends of Tomorrow, Season 3, Episode 10, called Daddy Darkest. So we start off with uh, Constantine's Institute in 2017 in Star City. And this is Emily, and he's uh, performing an exorcism. And um, it does not go his way, and he fails. And it's Malice taking over her and mission Sarah Lance. So now we go back to 2017 in um, Central City, where Constantine's on board the ship and tells us Sarah. Then we, cut, then we cut to Ray and Zari are working on a nano gun that's supposed to um, X out magic. So they're working on that, working on the code. But Zari's still working on it. Then we cut to um, Constantine um, is um, just letting them know about what's happening. And then Sarah wants to go with Constantine to help. At first he says no, but then he agrees. Then we cut to where Ava talks to Sarah. And there's slight flirting happening, happening. and uh, Snart overheard it and points it out to her and tells her that she's got a big old crush on you. <laughs> and then, uh, then Sarah uh, goes with um, Constantine and half of the team goes with them to the Institute to go talk to Emily. So they get to her and also um, they see that Kawas is there, so it's Kawasa versus Vixen. And then they find out the girl is actually not Emily, it's Nora Dark, Damien Dark's daughter. And then we cut to, um, then we find out that Shields moved around a lot in foster homes and eventually, eventually end up in this island. And then uh, they go to get dressed because it's kind of uh, loopy, so they need adrenaline to wake her up and make her all lucid and conscious. Then it's Zari versus Vixen. Then Nate uh, comes in and freezes her with, um, with um, Snart's cold gun. And then uh, Constantine performs the ceremony um, before they taught the girl to wake her up. Then he performs it. And then uh, Malice takes over and talks to him. And the ceremony did not work at all. And they he says... a. Uh, a spell and sends them back in time. And that year was 1969. And then we cut to where Mick is pissed in 2017 because they're trying to get the team and, and there was bickering and stuff. So he literally just takes control and tells them, tells everyone what to do. And Ray's like, you have great management skills. He's like, so let me know. He's trying to watch a football game because he has not seen one live in three years. He really wants to see it. Uh, then, um, uh, okay, and so, um, so, the, uh, Ray and Zari go back to see the room, and they see the symbol, and so Zari, uh, basically took a picture of it and sent it to him, and then she also, then they see Emily slash Nora, and then, um, they go to talk to her in the cafeteria, and Zari said that she also used to be in an institute like this, because she was with around a lot of foster care as well. And then uh, we cut to where Sal's um, Malice gets to Sarah and starts to try to take over her, but uh, Constantine manages to stop it. Then we cut to where Snark get, got caught and drugged. And then Malice tries to get to her again. And then um, again, Constantine blocks it out. And see what's happening is. Um, in 1969, like, he's slowly trying to get to her. It's not, like, full-on, like, trying to possess or possess her yet, but tr slowly trying to get there. And then we cut to where uh, Constantine and Sarah talk and gives her a card. It's supposed to be a type of omen, type of talisman type thing that's supposed to help against malice. And then we cut to where they uh, also decide to make out. And then we cut to where Vixen tells her her granddaughter, and she mocks her first and then tells her what happened with um, Vixen saying, don't tell me, don't tell me, I'm not supposed to know this stuff. But she tells her anyway. And then um, Nora, Zari, and Ray, uh, they all go to Jitters, so they uh, take Nora out and take her to Jitters, and uh, 
try to bond with her. And then we catch up with Snart is in surgery. And then Sarah and um, Constantine stop um, the surgery from happening and knock out the lady. And then we cut back to the Nora at Jitters. And they're having like a fun time to play in a game on um, the phone. And then they see the news about um, about Oliver killing Dark or Green Air killing Dark. Same person. Anyway. Uh, then she gets kind of depressed for a second, then Mouse takes over and starts creating havoc everywhere in Jitters. And then, um, uh, then, um, uh, then we come back to, um, what's her name? Vixen talking to her granddaughter and, uh, Nate walk, uh, barges in and tries to freeze her again, but, uh, Vixen tells, uh, Nate to put it away. And so he does, and then, um, then, then the granddaughter knocks him out. I cannot remember how, I cannot say her name right, so, um, I think it's Kawasa, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Anyway, so then we cut to where, uh, Sarah is, uh, doing the drawing. Uh, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> So basically, their plan, uh, Constantine's plan and Sarah's plan is to uh, to summon Malice, redo the drawing, and go back to regular time. So that's what they did. And so Sarah is um, doing part of the drawing. Then she hears Nora and talks to her. And then we cut to where Zari touches her um, at Jitters. And her she starts to burn by touching her. And Malice says that she's one of the six. And then we, uh, then no, uh, then Sarah's talking to Nora, and I guess like the, uh, I guess the spirit world, I guess is where it is, and tells her to fight back, and so she does, and then she missed uh, to kick Mouse out for a little bit, and so they, uh, so she finishes the uh, the symbol, and they go back to twenty seventeen, then Kawasa is trying to kill Nate, but um, Vixen tells her to stop and to stop doing that and so she does and then she leaves or escapes then uh then dark gets to nora and so uh says mouse is um, her savior and not a demon trying to possess her which is some t i don't know what type of twisted logic that is but anyway and so she goes with them, and along with the crazy lady that locked her up in the first place. So she's going to stay there. And then we cut to where Sarah thanks Constantine. Then Constantine tells Ray to keep the gun and keep working on it. And then leaves. And then Snart is also leaving and tells Nick, Nick goodbye and part of the team. So he's going to go ask Ray, um, not this Ray, but the other Ray. To marry him. And then we cut to where Sarah talks to Ava and they find out that Rip has escaped. And that's the end of the episode. So um I thought it was a okay episode. I'll probably give it a B. There's just a couple things in there that I just mm, just wasn't really for me. But um I do like how they're trying to communicate cool uh, with Kawasa and trying to, to humanize her and trying to make her um Probably more into an anti-hero than a full-blown like hero. I think they're trying to, to trying to turn her. I think it's working a little bit, but um, I don't know. I think it depends on what's going to happen for the rest of the season. And I don't know. I feel like when Dart first got to Nora, he she wasn't that happy to see him, and she's like, "You've been alive all this time." Like, she seemed kind of pissed about it, but I don't know. So, anyway. Um, I don't know. This episode was super weird, but I kind of liked it. So, anyway, um, I don't know if anyone else... Well, I heard that Wally West is, uh, is going to be on Legends, so that should be interesting. And Constantine will, will be back on the team as will be back as well. So, I think that will be great. So, um... I'm excited for what's going to happen next, but I think this was a, just kind of an okay episode. It really wasn't that good to me. I don't know. It just wasn't to the standard that, um, of this season so far. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? And um, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.